So in this segment, I'm going to be explaining some of the upgrades that you can do to the A30T. Um, we'll start with a picture that GTEC publishes about the A30T. You'll notice the Bowden tubes. Those are the nylon tubes that run from the extruder down to the hot end. Notice how short they are. If this um, hot end was uh, brought down to the platter, um, those uh, Bowden tubes wouldn't reach that far. So they sort of cheat a little bit and sort of tell you that the Bowden tubes are really short, but in actuality, they're almost two and a half feet long, which is crazy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to shorten those Bowden tubes, and I'll show you how I did that. Well, the easiest way to shorten the Bowden tubes is by generating these two um, mounts that um, this user posted on Thingiverse. Um, there's the uh, the website, but you can search for it. Just uh, basically um, moving the uh, the extruders on the A30T and the A30M uh, on the Z-axis, moving them down rather than me uh, go through a lot of details. These are the these are what the mounts look like. This is what they look like when they're mounted. Um, just basically take uh, a piece of bar. Uh, in this case, he used one of the uh, uh, rails for a printer, it looks like, and he bolted them on there. I took a piece of uh, quarter-inch uh, square aluminum and bolted them in there. And this is what they look like. So it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you some pictures of mine in a second. So here's the right mount, the green plastic over there on the right-hand side with the quarter inch bar and the extruders mounted to it and this is the left hand side uh, green plastic over there that's mounted um, to the z-axis motor and this is the front view showing the Borden, Bowden tubes pretty short um, I think they're about nine inches long maybe a little bit bigger maybe ten ten inches long much shorter than the like two and a half feet the stock version is and the blue bar that you see over the back, I actually created a mount that uh, keeps the cabling off the print um, so it doesn't get tangled up in it. So I just created that with a little Z mount that gets mounted to the, um, to the uh, quarter inch bar where the extruders are mounted. So it's pretty straightforward. Now after the extruders get lowered, the filament being extracted from the top of the gantry is not really a good idea. So I lowered the extraction to table level and I created this little mount in the background with those two red pillows, um, pillow blocks with uh, three spindles that I uh, printed for the uh, filament to get pulled out from underneath the table in a uh, climate and climate and controlled box that I have the uh, filament placed in. Works pretty good. This uh, single uh, one modification I would recommend is the number one move that you have to do on this A30T. If any any other mods are really don't have that much of an effect, they have some but not as much of an effect as this one modification, so I highly suggest it. And moving along, I uh, uh, early on in the use of this printer, I found that the girders that hold the um, x-axis hot end, um, the vertical uh, girders, were moving slightly uh, the taller the prints got. So I decided that I needed some kind of bracing system. So I printed these um, blue blocks that mount in the back of the A30T that was the left side, this is the right side. And in that is a threaded um, rod um, that um, I attached to these blue pillow blocks that I made and they mount to the top of the gantry. Um, and I just uh, attach them with tie wraps and this uh, prevents the girders, uh, the x-axis, uh, or I should say the hot end x-axis um, gantry from moving in the y direction as you print taller and taller objects. This uh, significantly improved um, uh, imperfections in the y-axis when printing. 
And this is just a snapshot of how the threaded rod is attached to the uh, spool holders. <clears throat> In this case here, this is the right hand side and I have a webcam attached to it. And here's a better picture of the blocks at the bottom with the threaded rod going into them. Now the final aspect of trying to get better print quality was moving from the 0.4 millimeter nozzle as shown here to a 0.3 millimeter as shown here. I've mounted it on the hot end. This is a spare hot end that I have. Notice that the size of the 0.03 is on the right hand side. It's much larger than the 0.04. And notice the back side of the 0.04 has a um, different end as compared to the 0.03 three millimeter and what you need to do is uh, you need to slide in a piece of board and tube uh, slides right in there and takes up the slack now my results of using a 0.3 millimeter versus a 0.4 millimeter nozzle on this a30t uh, had mixed results i could not get a repeatable good print when switching uh, filaments in a uh, multicolored object if I was printing only with one color, uh, results were really good. But when it switched to a different color, the other color was usually clogged. So I gave up on using 0.3 millimeter nozzles, and I'm going to stick with 0.4 millimeter nozzles. Um, I think that's about the best print you can get out of this uh, printer. Overall, it's a good machine. Um, needs some updating uh, to get better quality results than stock. But overall, for the price, I don't think you can go wrong with the uh, GTEC A30T. Just uh, expectations need to be set appropriately. Hope you have fun with this printer and good luck.